I lost my best friend to 23 She left her body and hovered above me I saw no shadow, I looked around Searched every building and home that I found I saw no shadow, but felt a glow The warmth inside me kept me afloat Felt like heaven, I found my bones And gave me comfort when I feel alone Now you're gone, I'm alone I guess it's time to get better Through the pain, I will go alone If I fall, break my bones I will scream even louder Cause I'm not dying alone Best friend to 23. Good morning from Land Between the Lakes. You can hear the highway still behind me. I just got off the main highway in Land Between the Lakes. Um, going in the middle section. I'm going to go up north and play today. Um, but I am here for the day. It's 46. Yep. I got shorts on. Got my cool Zilio hat. Got Zilio in the truck in case I need it. It's beautiful. Squirrels and stuff are jumping around back there, but it's it's gorgeous. Let me, let me flip you around real quick. Check that out. In the open fields here. Leaves are starting to turn. You can see. Bring you back in a little bit. But uh, anyway. Just up here for the day. Um, all the work I did on the Titan as far as suspension, well, it was for this place. So we're going to see how the struts and shocks hold up. See if it give me a better ride. Near tire, so we ought to have better grip. I'm not airing down. I don't, I mean, this mainly street stuff. We're going to keep on going down this road here. Uh, I'm going to hook up to 153. I'm going to try to go up north. Um, to Energy Lake, I think is what it's called. But we'll go up that way for a little bit. Um, I've got lunch with me. I've already had breakfast on the road. But anyway, let's let's get on with this. Beautiful, beautiful. It's fall. It feels like fall. It'll probably be eighty degrees by. Sucks. All right, guys. Okay, so coming down this road, let me see if I can zoom in as best I can. See those bird houses? They're all up and down. There's one back there, but they're huge. So I wonder what kind of bird they're, they've built those for. See it right there. Interesting. They're huge. They're like ginormous. And I wonder if it's for owl, or for hawk, or what. Um, they're back to back. And they're all up and down this road. But anyway. This best time up here is early in the morning, cool weather. All right, I'm back. All right, guys, I just saw this coming down the road. Love the red color on this, the green background, and some of the leaves changing back up there. I had to get out and shoot it real quick. Shot it with 35. I have my Minolta with me. I have part of a roll of film I'm shooting on it, and then a whole nother roll to shoot so we try to shoot it all today but i saw this and i was like god it's gorgeous but then look at this isn't that sweet feeling it today I'm telling you i'm feeling it i don't know if you can tell how bad these trenches are in this road but they're pretty bad but i will say you know that's pretty deep. These Billsteins are taking it. Kudos to Bill. 
these Belstines are taking this. Um, you know, maybe if I had aired down a little bit, but I just, I don't want to take the time to air back up. It's a gravel road. I mean, come on. But, it's not as bad a ride as it used to be. So, kudos to Bill Steen. On rough road. Right, I thought I'd bring this up on the big camera here. Explain, explains to you what I'm doing. I've been trying for the last three or four times I've been up here to get back up to this one particular place. And the roads have just been... This is 152. And what I was told by a couple people that I ran into last time I was up here, well, a couple times ago, that 152 is called 152 Screw You because this road can be weird, uh, especially during the wet seasons. Well, it's been pretty darn dry. So the last time I tried to come up here from the other end, I, it just, there was no way. Um, so, right now, we're trying to get to a particular spot, and hopefully I'll make it. Um, we'll see. So, just hang tight. But, we've been to this spot in the Jeeps. I'm trying to get to it in the truck. Alright. Well, luckily, it hasn't been too terribly bad. Uh, I have one area back there that I had to, well, let's just say we didn't pussyfoot through it. And I didn't um, video it, but we'll video it going back out because I'm going to go back out that way, I think. Or I may try to go the other way. But I'm over halfway to where I was headed. And, um, well, I'll just keep you live for a second. But I think I figured out why they don't take care of this one any better. I don't think there's any cemeteries back through here. Um, if there were, the road would be a lot better. I will say that. But this road doesn't look like it gets near the attention that some of the others I've been on does. And I don't, I don't get that. But we're almost like right around this bend here is where I've got it marked well, a couple more bends I'll take it back but I did pass uh, 353 oh, that trench let's try to dodge that I don't want to drive off in it I will make note that I do have uh, traction control turned off so that if it starts you know, spinning well, the other one should kick in because, you know, limited slip life. Piece of... Huh. Let's see. Yeah, we're, we're... According to the map, it's only about a quarter inch where I'm trying to get to. But you can tell, I mean, this is, this right here would probably be full of water and mud that I'm driving through right now. And if those sections I went through back there are what they are right now, geez. But I know now where the high line is coming in this way, do I dare push it and go out the way I try to come up every time? Who knows? See, I mean, I mean, this is nothing, but I would imagine at some point it's something and you don't want to drive off in it. But we have made it, I think. I'm trying to find the spot. Because we came into it the first time this way. Um, I've always tried to come in from the back way. Yeah. I think we're here. All right. Okay, so here's that spot I came through, 
and I think I stayed to the far right, but I did not let off the gas much. <laughs> and and I also turned off the traction control for that. So anyway. Yeah. Alright. I just came down that hill right up there. Down here. To get oh yeah, she's nasty. To get to that. Isn't that gorgeous? There's people camping over there on that other side. This is a camping spot right here. I know it is because there's a fire ring. I might have to mark this. It's beautiful down here. I'm trying to watch where I'm walking. I'm going to get my other camera. It may take a couple pictures here. But that is gorgeous. Yeah, it's like, it, yeah, <laughs> probably a bath. Anyway, you can see the trees over there. Zoom in a little bit better. They're getting their color. Cool breeze today, but it was kind of chilly last night, too. But, anyway. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be fun going back up. Okay, I don't foresee any problems, but I doubled down, took traction control off, put it in tow mode, as that usually drops your gear a little lower. And I'm in third, and I drive or overdrive. So once I get up here, i got to make a left. And it's kind of loose, big, thick stuff. She's climbing. She's climbing. Yeah, but uh, now I've got to climb this, and all this was kind of loose coming down it because anytime I touched the well when I was riding the brake a little bit to come down, it was sliding a lot. So, I'll try to keep my speed constant so I don't break traction. This is some big gravel, river gravel like stuff over here. You can hear it kicking. Oh, it's come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Not a problem. Momentum. Momentum for the win. Okay, so I just found this. I'm going to mark it on Onyx, but it's a campsite right up here. There's a little place where they've had the fires, actually firewood. They come up that hill right there, but look at, you might can see it over here to the side, but I'm going to stop here for a little bit, eat a little snack, and uh make a little coffee because I'm about out of coffee and I've got stuff to make coffee but look at this look at this view this is an awesome campsite and if I didn't have to go to work tomorrow I'd pop a tent and call it a day look at that isn't that gorgeous that's Lake Barkley right there but yeah, I mean, camp right here. It's beautiful. All right, let me get uh, my stuff set up, make some coffee.
measured that water any more perfect than what I just did. It, I mean, perfect. Not too much, not too little, not too hot, just right. Gotta love it. Alright guys, I've been sitting up here for 30 minutes or more, maybe closer to an hour. It's just awesome. It's beautiful. It's quiet. Birds. We've got a couple of planes here and there. Got boats running around a little bit. Actually, that one sounds bigger than a normal boat. But I want to reach out to some of the guys that watch my channel. 55 years old. We all go through things up here. You know, bodies always changing, bodies always got issues, or you're having problems that you've never had before. And I, I just want to tell you to reach out. Reach out to somebody. Reach out to friends. Reach out to family. Reach out to perfect stranger. Reach out to somebody you trust and talk to them. And uh, tell them, you know, what's going on in your life that's bothering you. Because you're not the only one it's happening to. You're not the only one. Um, here of late, I get into my own head too much. And it sucks. It really does. But... That's when you start having to reach out and talk to somebody. Talk to your spouse. If you're scared to talk to your spouse, then find a fishing buddy. Find a whatever buddy and talk to them. Y'all talk about it. I mean, don't let it go idle. Because honestly, that could be the worst thing is letting it go idle. Because um, it, you know, it'll kill you inside. But this is kind of my therapy, is coming out here. I pulled up on this hill, saw the lake view. I moved the camera because I could tell it's killing the autofocus. But I come up on this hill, and it was kind of rough getting up here. But I can come back up it again and love to camp up here. Love to bring somebody up here with me camping. It's a beautiful spot. You don't have a wide open view of the lake, but you can see the lake. You're up high. And you're back off the way. I mean, there's a boat ramp down the hill. You just came up from there a minute ago. This is awesome. But if you don't have that support, you don't have in your having issues. I'm going to put a number right here. These people will to talk to you. Will to put you in the right place. Or put you with the right people. Just don't let it consume you and turn you into something you're not. So anyway. That was a Debbie Downer part of the video sorry we'll get back on the trail here shortly i'm gonna enjoy this for a few more minutes and try to figure out what is that oh it's a barge i think i think that's what it is a big old barge coming anyway seek help family friends if you don't have that call this number down below see ya back on the trail okay i had lunch here at a this campground a huh, few years back when i was up here riding around but i get that view i've got to camp here gosh I forgot which campground it is i'll note it as i'm coming out or down at the bottom I forgot what it's called Sue me. But uh, that's, look at that. It's just right, too. This has been a good, uh, this one, this would be a pain to, to put a tent in. I'll be honest, it's not tent worthy. Hmm. But I did spot something else we're going to go back and look at.
I think I've been to it. I don't remember. We're going to go back to it here in a second. Um, but we're going to go now. Right now. Okay, to the answer to the question of what um, campground this is, it's Taylor Bay. See it? Right there. Taylor Bay backcountry area. Taylor Bay. Remember that if you want to come camping. Okay, so back over there is Lake Barkley. There's the dam right there that separates Lake Barkley, and Lake Barkley's low. Separates the lake from Honker Lake. Or Honker. However they want to pronounce it. But look at all the lily pads in the water right here. And look how far up they're sticking because of how low the lake is. Alright guys, I covered quite a bit of territory but I didn't. <laughs> but I'm going to call it a day. It's 1 o'clock. Yep, after 1. And I'm fixing to head home. Um, I could go on up do some stuff like up there or I go back down hit the main visitor center but eh, we've been there a few thousand times so I think I'm done going home all right guys that's it for this one appreciate you watching uh, make sure you hit that like share and subscribe be prepared we'll see you on the next one peace out